Good morning, church. We just want to say thank you to God for uh, this first Sunday in the last month of the year 2020. We want to bless God for all he has done for the last 12 months and give him all the glory. Father, we bless your name. Father, we give thanks to you. Father, for January, for February, for March, for April, for May, for June, for July, for August, for September, for October, and for November. We are grateful for every single day that you have been with us. We thank you for food on the table. We thank you for a roof over our heads. We thank you, Lord of Israel, for our health in particular. We thank you, Lord of Israel, Father, that we are still in this premises, worshipping and giving glory to your name. We bless your name. We honor you. We exalt you. Father, we know that you are the God who saves the best for the last. Even as we come to the end of the month, uh, end of the year, 2020, we know, Lord of Israel, Father, that it will be well with us. We know, Lord of Israel, Father, that you will crown this year with so much more for us in Jesus' mighty name. We give all glory to your name. On behalf of every family in New Life Assembly, we say thank you. Uh, we commit the rest of the year into your hands. And we know, Lord of Israel, Father, that great things will come our way. Blessed be your name, Most High God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Good day, church. Today I'll be reading Psalm chapter 103, verses 1 to 6. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. May the Lord bless this reading. Hello and welcome to New Life Assembly. I'm Tammy Nunu. We're so glad to have you here with us this morning. We know that God is going to speak to you through this service. We're about to go into a time of worship but first, we want to thank you for your continued faithfulness and generosity as you give to support the work that God is doing through New Life Assembly. The choir will now lead us in worship. God bless you as you join in. Good morning, church. This morning, we've come to Mount Zion. We have come to the city of the living God, to an innumerable company of angels to the church of the General Assembly of the Firstborn. I want you to lift your hands this morning and just bless the name of the Lord our God and let's exalt Him and thank Him for His faithfulness, thank Him for His goodness and just shout hallelujah wherever you are this morning as we bless our God.
God and say, Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you change? What can't you do, Jesus? Amen. Amen.
I see the fullness of your grace and I can only bow down and say you are awesome in this place mighty God you are awesome in this place Abba Father, you are worthy of our praise, to you our lives we raise, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. Father, we bless you, we thank you Lord, we give you all the glory. Without any doubt, you are mighty in this place. You are awesome in this place. You are glorious in this place. You are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all adoration. We thank you, Lord, for this year thus far. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us to the last month of the year 2020. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness towards us. Lord, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. And once again, Lord, we've come to you, O God, in all humility. We ask that you send your word to us to heal us, to defend us, to chastise us, to encourage us, to deliver us from all destruction in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, good morning, church. God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we approach the end of the year 2020, I perceive in my spirit that the Lord will have us praising and giving thanks. And our word for the month of December will be found in Psalm 92, verse 1 and 2. Psalm 92, verse 1 and 2. And the Bible says, It is a good and delightful thing to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises with musical accompaniment to your name, O Most High, to show forth your loving kindness in the morning 
and your faithfulness by night. night. I believe also that all of us should be most grateful for what the Lord has done, is doing and will do for us. God has been, is now, and will continue to shower his wonderful, abundant blessing upon our loved ones and upon us in the name of Jesus. Beloved, we're blessed. Whether we realize it or not, we have been wonderfully made, kept and preserved by the unending grace and mercy of the Lord. It is in this season that a number of people Organization as well as churches, as churches extend a helping hand and go the extra mile helping the needy, the trodden and less privileged. It is a wonderful thing and a kind act that those who have will give to those who do not have. And those who are financially sound will reach out to those who are somewhat struggling. It is a fact, my brothers and sisters, that those who are in need are not all in the third world countries as we're made to believe. As a matter of fact, there are people in need right in the community that we live. Yes, there are people right around the corner, down the street, our neighbor, who are in some kind of need because, because of these, we as the church, the believers, the follower of Jesus Christ, should show some concern for those who Jesus said will always be with you, the poor. In Matthew, the fifth chapter, verse 16, the Bible says, Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The Passion translation says, So don't hide your light. Let it shine brightly before others, so that the commendable things you do will shine as light upon them. And then they will give their praise to your Father in heaven. And what the Bible is saying to us is simple. The act of kindness that we display, the concern that we show to the less privileged, these are a representation of our light, of we displaying our light. And in so doing, as many of us do that, People, their church can see it and then they can glorify our Father in heaven. So as I said, if you want to give the word a title, it is simply give thanks to the Lord or be thankful. Our text will be taken from Psalm 100 verse 4. The Bible says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. In Luke, the 17th chapter, verse 15 to 16. Luke, I'm going to read. It's a story that we all know very well. And reading the Amplified Version of the Bible, Luke, the 17th chapter, reading from verse 11. And the Bible says, And he went on his way to Jerusalem. It occurred that Jesus was passing along the border between Samaria and Galilee. And as he was going into one village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at his distance. And they raised up their voices and called Jesus, Master, take pity and have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said to them, Go at once and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were killed and made clean. Then one of them, upon seeing that he was killed, turned back, recognizing and thanking and praising God with a loud voice. And he fell prostrate at Jesus' feet, thanking him over and over. And he was a Samaritan, an alien, an unbeliever. Then Jesus asked, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was there no one found to return to recognize and give thanks and praise to God except this alien? And he said to him, 
get up and go on your way. Your faith, your trust, and confidence that spring from your belief in God has restored you to health. Praise the name of the Lord. So, church, the word thanksgiving means an expression of gratitude and the giving of thanks to thing or someone. Thanksgiving or being thankful is like praise is to glorify which expresses our admiration towards the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The I am that I am, the only one of Israel, the Alpha and the Omega. What should you and I be thankful for? We should be thankful for the blessings the Lord has bestowed, is bestowing and will bestow upon us in the future. Beloved, are you aware of the fact that if it had not been for the Lord on our side, we would not have made it. But because of God's exceedingly abundantly blessings, we're in a wonderful position to glorify and magnify his wonderful name. We should be thankful for how he has daily loaded us with his benefits and his blessings. Psalm 103 verse 1 and 5 gives us a glimpse of what God does for us. Let's quickly go into 103. Here the Bible says, reading the Amplified Version of the Bible, it said, Bless affectionately, gratefully praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is deepest within me. Bless his holy name. Bless affectionately, grateful praise the Lord, O my soul. And forget not one of all his benefits, who forgives every one of all your iniquities, who heals each one of all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and corruption, who beautifies, dignifies, and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth your necessity and desire at your personal age and situation with good so that your youth renewed is like the eagle strong overcoming and soaring. Amen. Church, there are times we think things are not going well as we have hoped. Yes, many times. But then, just look around you or begin to talk to someone else and without doubt you'll be grateful to what the Lord has done for you. Psalm 107 verse 31 says, Oh, that men will give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Apostle Paul writes to the church at Colossus in Colossians, the third chapter, verse 15, saying, and let the peace of God rule in your heart and be thankful. And what Apostle Paul is saying is that things may not be as we would like them to be, but still be thankful. We may not fully understand all that is happening to us and around us, but still be thankful. The devil may think he has won a few battles, but through the power of God, we will win the war. So still be thankful. Yes, I know that we have had a difficult year, but still be thankful. Yes, I know that the fig tree may not blossom and there's no fruit on the vines, still be thankful. Yes, I know there are days of disappointment, still be thankful. Yes, I know we are experiencing a time of uncertainty, but still be thankful. Be thankful because the Lord promised in Psalm 34 verse 19, that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, the Lord, delivers him from them all. All, not some. Give thanks. Because Psalm 30 verse 5 says, For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for a night, but a shout of joy comes in the morning. And I can see someone 
entering the season of joy in the name of Jesus. Let us look at a few facts about giving thanks to the Lord. Number one, we must understand that it is God that initiates thanksgiving. Uh, it is in the plan of God that all people give him thanks and be appreciative for the good things he does for us as our creator, our provider, and our, and our sustainer. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, the Bible says, in every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. The Passion Translation puts it this way. And I like this. And in the midst of everything, be always giving thanks. For this is God's perfect plan for you in Christ Jesus. Psalm 95 verse 2 says, Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalm, with psalm song. Psalm 150 verse 6 says, Let everything, that's all of us, the all of creation that had breath, praise be the Lord. Church, we are to be thankful for God because he has given us breath. We are a living being. We must thank him. Beloved, God made this call to thanksgiving and it is our responsibility to adhere to it by showing some gratitude for what he is doing. Amen? Next, why should we be thankful? Well, we should be thankful because of all the benefits and blessings that he has provided in our lives. That is, being thankful for our health, our home, our food, our family, employment, having a right mind, and our joy and happiness, our peace. Psalm 34 verse 1 says that we bless the Lord at all times. His praise, thanksgiving, shall continually be in my mouth. Psalm 103 verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The cause of thanksgiving, my brothers and sisters, is command of the Lord, for he is worthy of it, because he is a wonderful, he is a caring, he is a kind, compassionate, and a loving God. Amen. Lastly, what should be our position of posture? How should we express our gratitude to the Lord? What should be the position of posture of our minds and hearts? The Bible says in Psalm 9 verse 1, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my own heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. When we are really thankful, we will obey the word of God. When we are really thankful, church, we will render general service unto God. When we are really thankful, we will praise and lift the Lord up on high. When we're really th thankful, church, we'll be grateful for what we have and not complain about what we do not have. Why? Because I do not know about you and I cannot answer for you. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. And I thank God for saving and blessing me. So, church, as I close, as I close, as many of us are already thinking about what we will do during this festive season, that is, what we will eat, what we will drink, the family we will have around us, that is good. But let us also be concerned about those who do not have the necessities of life, food, water, and shelter. And because by his grace, we are fortunate to have food on the table and have a reasonable portion of health and strength, that alone is enough to be thankful and give the Lord praise, glory, and honor. 
the first test says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. And the second test says, And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, and with a loud voice glorified God, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving thanks. And he was a Samaritan. So, brothers and sisters, always be thankful to God for the privilege you and I have to enter into his presence. And as the lone leper who realized when he was healed, turn back and praise and thank the Lord for his healing. You and I need to do the same. I know that things may not be normal as it used to be, and we're uncertain of the future, but still be thankful to God. I know that the experience of the past month may have overshadowed our plans and expectations uh, and our expectation but still be thankful just look around you and see how good the lord has been to you and your loved ones you and i understand that many started the year with hope and aspiration and without winning covid came and now there are no more. Some of us have lost close friends. We thank God for their lives. And that God will be merciful to the rest of us. And we pray that may their memory be a blessing to their loved ones. In Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, don't ever forget that no matter the challenge or circumstances you may be faced with, let us follow the advice of Apostle Paul. In 1 Thessalonians verse 5, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 19. It states, Rejoice always and delight in your faith. Be uneasy and persistent in prayer in every situation, no matter what the circumstances. Be thankful and continually give thanks to God. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench, subdue, or be unresponsive to the working I guide us of the Holy Spirit. Church, this is truly a season of thanksgiving. And I pray that every one of us and every member of New Life Assembly we key into it. And every time we go on our knees, let's always remember to give thanks to God for all that he has done for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let us rise to our feet as we take a few prayer points. There are only two prayer points. The first prayer point is for us to go ahead and just thank God for sending us his word to encourage us to enlighten us in the name of Jesus not that we do not know uh, about thanksgiving but I believe that the Holy Spirit may have spoken to one of us and so let us thank God for sending his word to us his word to encourage us to enlighten us to make us better Father, we thank you. Lord, we are grateful. Oh, if we have a billion tongues, it's not enough to give thanks to you. But Lord, accept us and accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. And our second prayer is like the lone leper. Let us be thankful for life. Let us be thankful for good health, for strength, for food, for shelter, for right mind. Let's thank him for daily blessing us and future blessings. Let's open our mouth. Let's be thankful to God. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We bless you. We thank you, oh God, for a time like this. We thank you for this season. Oh, Father, we give you honor. You're welcome. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for life. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for food on our table. We thank you for shelter. We thank you for sound mind. We thank you for your daily blessings. We thank you, Lord, for future blessings. We thank you for our sons. We thank you for our daughters. We thank you for our fathers. We thank you for our mothers. We thank you for our grandparents. We thank you for our elders. We thank you, Lord, for your church. Lord Jesus, we are grateful. We are thankful. We bless you. We honor you. You're such a faithful God. Thank you and thank you. For in Jesus' wonderful name, we have given thanks. Amen and amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you're listening to this message and you're yet to give your life to Jesus in order to begin your work of faith, please say this simple prayer after me. Father, I thank you because it is by faith we are saved. So dear Lord Jesus Christ, I need you. I open the door of my, of my life and receive you as my Savior and Lord. Forgive all my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. Thank you for saving me. Please, if you like more information or you need to speak to anyone who can guide you with your walk of faith, kindly go to our website, www.rccgnla.org dot uk forward slash first steps first step and I say that again www.rccgnla.org dot uk forward slash first step God bless you and God will keep you in Jesus name Amen and Amen This is now the time in the service where we have the opportunity to give. So I invite you to give your tithes and offerings. Details of how to give are now on the screen. Hallelujah. I want you to know that Jesus is with you right now. He's in your home right now. And I want you to give him your offerings, give him your substance, give him your dance, give him your heart. Hallelujah. Strong. 
Good day, church. Let us pray over our tithes and our offering. But before we do that, I just want to read us a, a portion of the Bible that we all know very well. It's Psalm 124. And it says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us, swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our souls. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our souls. Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us our spray to their teeth. Our souls, our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowler. And the snare is broken, hallelujah, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for your goodness. We want to thank you for your mercies. We want to thank you for your numerous blessings upon us, upon our families, upon your church. Lord, we are so grateful. Thank you, Lord, for being our God, being our guide, being our shelter, being our strong tower. Lord, thank you, Lord, for watching over us, over all that we are, over all that you have blessed us with. Thank you for giving your angels, oh God, charge over us to keep us in all our ways. Thank you for going out. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for seeing that no harm came near us or near our dwelling places. Father, we are so grateful. Thank you because you have been on our side. Therefore, we will not be shaken. We are so grateful, Lord, for your divine protection, for your divine provision. Oh, Father, we are grateful. And we return all thanks to you this minute, this hour, this second, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for our jobs, our businesses, oh God. Thank you for fights. Thank you for our offerings, oh God. Father, Lord, please, we ask that, Lord, as we return our tithe and our offering to you, Lord, that you will accept it, oh God. Accept us, oh God, and accept all our substance and all that we have brought. The praises of our lips, oh God, the rejoicing of our heart, oh God. Let them be all acceptable unto you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask, Father, Lord, that this morning, oh God, King of Glory, that, Lord, please stretch out your hands and touch your children. Father, for every single one who have been financially supporting your church, for those who have been sowing of their time, Lord, working, you know, working earnestly to see that your work, oh God, flourishes. Father, bless them. Those who, oh God, have been sowing in prayers, oh God, please bless them. Father, Lord, remember all the tithes and offerings of your children lord and pour out such a blessings oh god that we will have no room to contain it oh god father lord we are grateful we are grateful that you have been our rock our fortress our strong tower our shelter father lord in the last past nine months of 2020 lord you have been there for us we are so grateful and we know that had it not been for you on our side lord we wouldn't be here so therefore father with a heart of gratitude we say thank you please accept us accept all that we have brought to you and lord and bless it in the mighty name of jesus lord we want to pray remember all our children we are so grateful father we're so grateful for where they are for the progress you have made in their lives, oh God, we are so grateful. Thank you, Daddy. We want to lift up before you, Lord, especially those who have gone into universities. Lord, this is their first time of being away from, our, from their parents, oh God. Father, Lord, please watch over them. Heavenly Father, please guide them. Guide their thoughts, guide their actions. Surround them with your legions of angels, Lord. Please speak to them the way they will understand you. Lord God Almighty, please see that they, they do not go away from your shelter. See that your grace abounds in their life. Lord God Almighty, Father, we ask that, Lord, even as they start this new journey, this new season into their life, King of Glory, whenever we hear from them, it will be good news. It will be great news. It will be joyous news in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to pray for every single other children, those in secondary, in primary, those in nursery. Father, please continue to guide them. Continue to shelter them. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the adoration. Thank you for your church, New Life Assembly. Thank you for your church, RCCG Worldwide. You have been awesome to us and we know we know you will continue to be. Glory and honor we bring unto you this minute. Oh, Father, accept all that we have brought to you, Lord. Accept all our praises, accept all our prayers, accept all our offerings, oh God. Father, we have prayed in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 
Again, we thank you for your faithfulness and generosity in giving to support the work that God is doing at New Life Assembly. Remember, you can give at any time. Details of how to give are available at rccgnla.org.uk. If this is your first time here, we are grateful you chose to spend part of your weekend with us and we hope you make New Life Assembly your church home. We would like to know you, so if you're watching via our website, please click the connect button below this video to fill out a connection card. If you're watching on YouTube, you may also connect with us at any time. Just go to rccgnla.org.uk to fill out a connection card. Once again, thanks so much for worshiping with us today. There is a lot happening at New Life Assembly. I would like to share with you some of the things we have planned for you and your family this week. Kickstarting the week and committing it into God's hands, we have a Monday morning prayer meeting. This is a conference call only meeting and it's from 7 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. Our regular Wednesday midweek service is now a prayer service for our church, our communities and our country. The service runs for 30 minutes via telephone conference and it starts at 7 p.m. On Friday, we have a conference call only prayer meeting from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. On Sundays like this when we meet, we start the day with a half hour prayer session from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Following this, we have a Sunday school from 9.45 a.m. to 10.55 a.m and the main service starts at 11 a.m. We will now have prayers for those that celebrated their birthdays and wedding anniversaries in the last week. Good afternoon, church. A prayer for those that celebrated their birthdays within the week. Ancient of days, we bless your holy name. We just wanna thank you for these children of yours that are celebrating their birthday. We thank you for how you have met their needs over the years. We thank you for their provision. We thank you for their protection. We thank you for their going out and their coming in. We thank you, God and Heavenly Father, that you continue to draw them nearer to you. Per adventure, if there's any one of them that doesn't know you, we ask that you reveal yourself to them in the mighty name of Jesus. For those that are in education, we ask that with wisdom and understanding, you will bless them. For those that are working, oh God and Heavenly Father, we ask that you raise them onto higher grounds. For the rest of them, O oh God, our Heavenly Father, um, as their faces are different, their needs are different, we ask that you meet every single one of them at the point of their needs, O oh God, our Heavenly Father. We ask that you bless the work of their hands. We ask that they will be leaders and only followers of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that, you know, you will be well with them in town and country and in the city. Heavenly Father, these ones will never beg for bread, O oh God, our Heavenly Father. They will be on fire for you, O oh God, our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name. We thank you because uh, you will be well with them. Uh, we ask, O oh God, our Heavenly Father, that you give them a special present in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we know that when you bless, you do not add any sorrow. Sorrow will never be the portion of these ones, O oh God. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Happy birthday. Good afternoon, church. A prayer for those that celebrated their wedding anniversary within the week. Almighty and ever, everlasting Father, we thank you. We thank you for the union of these, your children. We want to thank you because you're the one that instituted marriage. Um, we thank you because the Bible says, what God has joined together, let no man put us under. We thank you because by your grace, separation will never be their portion. We ask that you join them together with your cord of love that can never be broken. We thank you, God, our Heavenly Father, for the time they've spent together. Wherever they've neglected one another in the past, we ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, God, our Heavenly Father, for the children that you have blessed them with in this marriage. And for those that still believe in you for the fruit of the womb of God, our Heavenly Father, we ask that you meet them at the point of their needs. Heavenly Father, we thank you because their love for one another will continue to grow strong, oh God, our Heavenly Father. The Bible says one we chase a thousand and two we chase ten thousand. We ask that when your children come together to pray, O God, our Heavenly Father, that their prayer would avail them much in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you because jointly and individually you continue to bless the work of their hands. We thank you because 
In their marriages, O oh God, our Heavenly Father, they will complement one another. Competition will be far from them in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we ask that you continue to watch over them and seal them together with your cord of love that can never be broken. Heavenly Father, we worship you, Lord. We thank you for their lives, O oh God, our Heavenly Father. We ask that you know uh, you continue to draw them closer to you, O oh God, our Heavenly Father. On that day, O oh God, our Heavenly Father, these your children will never be found wanting in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, our Heavenly Father, because you continue to bless the work of their hands. Father, we also ask that you meet them at the point of their needs. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Happy wedding anniversary. Stay blessed. Praise the Lord. Uh, welcome back again. Uh, God bless you. As we wrap up the service, I want to use this opportunity to say a big thank you for those that have continued to support the church in their giving of tithes and offering. I pray that the God of heaven will pleasantly surprise you this season. I also want to encourage us uh, to continue uh, to give as the church needs as much resources as we can get to be able to meet all our needs. Um, we are all, I also understand uh, what is going out in terms of uh, the economy and the challenges out there. But be rest assured that by His grace we're praying for every one of our members that in the name of Jesus none will lose their livelihood, none will lose their job uh, in the name of Jesus. That the God of heaven, the one that supplies seed to the sower, will supply all your needs. In Jesus' name, amen. As we, as we round, up, uh, round off the service, let's take three prayer points. Uh, let's just make a declaration into the week. Uh, the first declaration is, Father, as I step out every day this week, let signs and wonders accompany me and my family in the name of Jesus. And I repeat that. Say, Father, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that as, as I step out every day this week, signs and wonders will accompany me, accompany my loved ones, our children, our family in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father, that this week, as we go out, we commit every member of your church into your hand. Let signs and wonders accompany them as they step out this week in Jesus' name. Amen. Secondly, we're going to pray and say, Father, I decree and declare that God has blessed the works of my hands and make me a testimony this week in Jesus' name. Why don't you make that declaration? It's a declaration by faith that the God of heaven has blessed the works of our hands and he has made us a testimony. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus. We thank you for blessing the works of our hands and we thank you, Lord, for making us a testimony in the name of Jesus. And finally, we're going to pray and say, Father, let me and my family end this year with song of praise and thanksgiving. Father, let me and my family end this year with songs of praise and thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Father, we say thank you. We give you glory. We thank you for answers to prayer. We thank you for the testimonies that we follow. 
we bless you and we honor you. For in Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. Have a testimony-filled week in Jesus' name. Details of all church activities, including events mentioned in the announcement, can be found on our website at rccgnla.org.uk. Thank you for worshipping with us today. Have a wonderful week and God bless you.